Let's review math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 26. Fraction equivalence, ordering and operations. Topic E, extending fraction equivalence to fractions greater than 1. What we're going to do is we're going to solve a word problem that involves fractions, and we're going to use a number line to help us. It says Barbara needed 13 fourths cups of flour. Her friend Jeanette needed nine half cups, and her friend Robert needed three and six eighths cups. Let's compare the amounts using a number line. Okay, so our number line looks like it starts with a three and ends with a five. So when I think about what's about halfway between three and five, I know that that's going to be a four. So I'm going to label that. I'm going to put my 4 in. What we'll do is we're going to take each one of the amounts of cups of flour and we're going to figure out where they would fall on our number line. So our first one is 13 fourths. So 13 fourths, where is that going to be on our number line? Well, let's think about what would be one whole. One whole would be 4 fourths. Two holes would be eight fourths. Three holes would be twelve fourths. So thirteen fourths would be three holes with one more fourth. So if we think about that being three holes, then we have to figure out what that one fourth would be. So I would need to think about the space between the three and the four being separated into four parts. Well, I can think about like halfway would be here and then half of that would be about here. So 13 fourths would be about right there on our number line. Let's try the next number. Let's try the amount that Jeanette needed. She needed nine halves. So when I think about nine halves, I have to think about where that would be on our number line. Well, two halves would be one. Three halves would be one and a half. Four halves would be two. Five halves would be two and a half. Six halves would be three. Seven halves would be three and a half. Eight halves would be four. So nine halves is going to be four and a half. So it would be four holes plus halfway between the four and the five. Now let's see what Robert needed. Robert needed three and six eighths cups. So let's think about where three and six eighths cups would fall on our number line. Well, it's telling us we have three holes and we have six parts if the parts are divided into eight parts. So four eighths would be about halfway between the three and the four and eight-eighths would be all the way to the four. So six-eighths is going to be somewhere between the halfway mark and the four. So it would be about right here on our number line. So now we can see that thirteen-fourths is less than three and six-eighths, and three and six-eighths is less than nine halves. Let's compare these two fractions. We have 29 sevenths and 31 eighths. There's something about 29 sevenths that I see right away because I know that seven times four is 28. So I know that if I want to change this to a mixed number, it would be 28 with one seventh left over. So I can think of 29 sevenths as being 28 sevenths plus one seventh. This 28 sevenths gives me four holes plus the one seventh, which would give me four and one seventh. Now let's think about 31 eighths. 
Well, I also know that 8 times 4 is 32. So this can't have a whole of 4. It would need 32 parts as the numerator. So on, that tells me that it must be 3 wholes. So 3 times 8 is 24. So 24 eighths would equal 3 wholes. Now if I took 24 away from 31, it would leave me with 7. So I would have 7 eighths remaining. So I can think of my 24 eighths as being 3 wholes. And then I take the 7 eighths that were left and I put it with the 3 wholes and I get 3 and 7 eighths. So 31 eighths is equal to 3 and 7 eighths. 29 sevenths is equal to 4 and 1 seventh. So 29 sevenths is greater than 31 eighths. All right, that'll take care of things for our lesson 26, where we've been comparing fractions greater than 1 by reasoning using benchmark fractions.